All right, tonight we get another look at the wildly talented Magomed Ankalaev, not just one of the best light heavyweights in the world. For my money, one of the top 20 pound-for-pound -pound athletes on this roster top to bottom. I feel like he can compete with anyone, but I also feel like he has a style that translates weight classes, and that is what pound for pound beat means. This guy can strike. This guy can grapple. This guy has tremendous cardio. I don't think anything points to that more than the Bohovic fight. When it went bad, he just pivoted and did something different and almost became the champion. Tonight, he's got to be on his game if he wants to get his hand raised. And a lot of people believe against any 205er in the world, Magomed Ankalaev would be the betting favorite. Let us see how he handles this stylistic challenge in front of him tonight. the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Magomed and Goliath! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, there is nothing quite like calling fights here in Rio de Janeiro. I'd imagine for the athletes, nothing quite like making that walk. Here we are back in Brazil once again, DC. For the Brazilian athletes to see their colors being flown, to see the crowd going crazy every time. There were nights where Brazilian fighters could not lose. They have won 10 fights at times in this arena because they take so much energy from the crowd. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Oh, nice jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, and now a left hand. And he blocks the shot there. Frantic pace early on to this one. Oh, misses with the jab. as well use it. Wow, what a kick! Choi gets caught with that punch. Oh man, another huge kick! Single collar tie now. Uncle Liam's got his head looking for a guillotine. Just missed on the front kick there. Nice jab by Ankalaev. Hands high, hands high. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Barely missed on an upper cut right here on the inside. Blocks the shot. Oh! He's got to try to finish here. Big right hand there. That's a pretty good jab. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the tall fighter uses his leg well yet again. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Yeah. Both fighters throwing heat now. Still in this. 
barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Joy gets hit with a kick. Nice punch to the head. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing and you appreciate the sweet science, his jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. And it all starts behind that beautiful jab. Oh, I like that kick there. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Swing and a big miss by the Korean Super Bowl. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Can't take many of those. You better check. 20 seconds to go in round one. Beautiful uppercut there. 10 seconds now in round one. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, round two. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Big right hand. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Big right hand. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Yeah. Right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Clipped him with a right hand there. Big right hook coming. It's a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Place with the hook there by the Korean Super Bowl. Uncle Lyons' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Strike lands clean. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, no feeling out crossing. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh! 
Changed in the pocket there. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, he is hurting for certain. That leg kick hurt. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter. You see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. Choi's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Busy at the clinch. Lands that punch. Oh, nice punch. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Checks the leg kick. Choi's forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Oh, slips to avoid the right. 30 seconds to go in round two. There, good attempt at a counter. Ultimately, it's no good. Oh. Good round. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know... When you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Fighter blocks a punch. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Pretty good jab there. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there, and not 
going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. I want you to make that cut worse now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the last <laughs> Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he has Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Oh, big left. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Uncle Lyons blocking well now. Nice job to protect that. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under two minutes now to go. Big shot to the head. That's good defense to get that guard up. Swing and a miss by Choi. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. So I'm going to hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood. The injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. Under a minute to go. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Now some separation from this punch position. Still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Uncle Lyev's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Oh, and what a round! All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Uncle Lion. Leg kick lands. Uncle Lion's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Nice. Ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! 
Choi's continuing to attack that area. He's trying to make his opponent's eye swell completely shut. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier round. Time to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. He's done it! He's done it! Oh! With authority, the body! Blocking that one. Big shot on the feet. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Oh, hit her deep. Steps in. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty wild to think that this guy